Hey guys, Stake here for Games Defined and this tutorial is going to be a little bit different from the usual 3D modeling tutorial. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a script called Welder. Now what this does is exactly this. If we just create two spheres, it doesn't have to be these two shapes but I like using these as an example. We're going to come to Max Script, Run Script, and then find your welder script, which I'll include a link to download from the Joker Martini website in the description. So have a look at that. So you'll get this option. So if you select both the shapes, make sure they are intersecting, and click Intersecting Welds. It creates geometry that looks like a weld joint which is wicked so if you just click the joint and come to the options you can affect the uh, settings thickness obviously does the thickness side segments adds line segments to the mesh to make it more detailed or you know smoother the I'm gonna leave that at 10 the angle rotates the actual lines this adds more than one sharp corner which I'm not I'm not I haven't really looked at that too much smooth type change that to hard and it affects these settings and then soft affects them again which I haven't really you know had a look at so and to me it, that doesn't look any different but I'm sure it will if I did a completely different shape the weld bump type you can have it at noise and it I can never get it to actually do anything so I don't really know what it does but you can mess around with that cellular does the strength of the bumps the size does obviously the size of them spread makes the bumps more spread out to look more even iterations just adds more roundness I guess to the shape you have to have fractal ticked otherwise this will do absolutely nothing thresholds don't really I haven't really messed around with this but as you can see it affects it in this way so yep that's all good so that's the script for you. There are two more different things you can do with it. If you come up to Max Script and then one script and click Concave, you'll see nothing changes. But if you drag the mouse, you'll see a shape there, here even, and do the same thing and click Convex and drag that out again. So if you click this shape and delete these uh, modifiers and uncheck enabling viewport and enabling renderer you don't need that anymore with this shape with this line still selected come to the create panel and change standard to compound objects click loft click get shape and click one of the two shapes that you've just imported and you'll get this look on it so come to the modifier and click loft then click shape shape where is it path no it must be shape Yeah, if you scale it down then obviously it scales it down like this so if you just click shape and then click the little plus next to line click vertex you'll see the shape then if you can see you no know, you can't see it that well but if you just select them all uh, you'll see the same shapes being 
select it on here the same vertices so if you select this one you can adjust the shape which is and that is basically the round shape that you'd get when you click this one down here I think that's convex makes sense that it is so yeah you just adjust these about and you get a groove in there and then if you adjust this one you can do the same thing but yeah you can do exactly the same thing with this shape it's just you know it's curved like that whereas the top one is concaved I think like like what it is now so that is the welder script from Joker Martini like I said at the beginning of the video the download link is in the description go check it out all his stuff or I'm not sure if it's a company or not but all the stuff on the website is brilliant and I'd really recommend that so hope you enjoyed this script and I'll see you next Thursday for another video thanks for watching Thank you.